Jim Jordan lost twice in his attempt to be elected Speaker of the House. First time through, 20 Republicans voted against him. Second time through, 22 Republicans voted against him. Now, he's not the kind of guy that would give up, generally speaking, so he was going to have another vote today, but the scuttlebutt was that even more Republicans were going to vote against him. Apparently, he's hit his limit of being embarrassed in front of the entire country. It's taken a while, but today was the limit because they're not going to have that vote. Jim Jordan finally realized what we all knew. The Republicans, Jim... They're just not into you. You're not going to be Speaker of the House. You're too fucking crazy. You're too much of a trump of fuck. You're an insurrectionist. You're not going to be Speaker of the House. So now Jim Jordan is apparently getting behind expanding the powers of the temporary Speaker of the House, McHenry. That's the only way we're going to get things done in this House of Representatives. And we've got a lot of things to contend with. Now, of course, the Republicans are still going to have to get some help from the Democrats, because even though they have the majority, they're so fucking divided, the Democrats have to continue coming in and saving the day. And the Democrats might be open to giving McHenry um, more powers to actually get things done in the House, because you see, McHenry was Kevin McCarthy's buddy. McHenry was the architect of the deal that Uh, McCarthy cut with Biden that he went back on. But if McHenry, under the circumstances, would just stick to the deal they did with Biden, we can get this signed and done and no government shutdown. So this might work out for the best, but it's an incredible embarrassment for the Republican Party. They've been able to do nothing in the House of Representatives since they've gotten the majority. They can't even put together enough unity to elect a Speaker of the House. That's who the Republicans are. Jim Jordan is done. He may try to come back, but he's never going to be Speaker of the House. So the next step is to stick with what we've got, give him some more power, and at least try to get some things done. 